What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. This is Wednesday. It is March 7th, 2018. And today we're going to be doing another uh, Kaecilius fight from the Strange Sights, the Doctor Strange event. And uh, this time for the second day of the event, I've gone through my little progression here, got to the end, and that opens the boss fight in the main node here. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, if you like what you see, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It does help us grow the online community for Marvel Puzzle Quest and helps me reach other questers just like yourself. Uh, <clears throat> before we get into this Kaecilius fight, um, if you haven't seen uh, yesterday's video, I used a different team up to go against him with a different strategy than what I'm going to show here. And I want to give a quick shout out to my alliance for being top 10 in this event, Book of the Vashanti. You guys are rocking it. Um, obviously, I have a little bit more work to do, but I have a couple hours to, to fit that in. I just wanted to make this video now that uh, my wife and my daughter have gone to bed, and I have some time to make a recording for you guys. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is uh, once you get through the progression, you can access this boss node, and it is a three versus one fight, which is a unique um, feature. Kaecilius does have some special abilities that make him dangerous, but also kind of easy. So um, in terms of other bosses like... Um, Apocalypse. I feel like Apocalypse was a much tougher type of boss, um, but with uh, Kaecilius, <clears throat> we'll get into this. So he's level 330. Um, I'm in uh, Shield Clearance 8, if that makes a difference. Um, his abilities are purple, black, and blue. That's going to be the same all across the board. You can only complete this one time to get the 3500 ISO that you see flashing in the bottom right-hand corner, and then 1400 uh, points towards progression as top, as uh, shown on the top left. So for this team up, what I wanted to do is use Medusa, Quake, and Vulture. Uh, Quake being important because he does have an AoE attack, his black ability, which we'll get to, and her yellow actually decreases that. Um, so what we're going to do actually is bump this up from 3 to 5, and we're going to drop blue to level 3. Um, so this reduces AoE damage to the team from the enemy by 3457 to a minimum of 1, and that's going to help uh, just decrease his ability uh, damage if he does get enough black in the first place. We're going to try to prevent that, but it would come in handy. Earthquake is uh, her green ability, uh, which does uh, AoE damage, but that doesn't make a difference. However, it does shuffle the game board, and um, as you can see, at level 5 deals much more damage. And then Resonance Frequency is going to uh, destroy up to five random tiles of that color, not generating AP. Um, actually, let's drop this one. So we're going to run our 355 because we want to destroy more random tiles of that color. Um, this is going to be another way to shuffle. We're not worried so much about the AoE damage here, even though it's um, very little. Um, the point is, at any level, it's going to shuffle the game board, and that is what we want in order to create some of those matches. So 355 for Quake. Uh, Vulture, obviously, uh, with his black generating AP and uh, blue, uh, green, black, red, and uh, yeah, blue, green, black, and red um, at level 5, so we're going to keep that there. Uh, one fell swoop. Uh, we're actually going to. Uh, bump his blue up and take green down as well. Um, this being um, able to remove four random enemy strike, protect, or attack tiles which are on the board. So if we don't use Quake's blue, uh, we can use Vulture's blue to get rid of those. Also targets uh, invisibility countdown and repeater tiles. Um, if you have uh, 10 or more blue AP when you use his circling prey ability. And uh, this one, we're not worried about it creating damage. Um, we're worried more about removing more tiles on the board. So that gives us two options there. And then Medusa, of course, uh, one of my favorite all-time four stars, especially championed. She's amazing. Um, we're going to keep her uh, purple at level five for swapping and stealing enemy protect, strike, or attack tiles and improving their damage. 
uh, which that part doesn't really matter, but it does matter that she's going to be swapping those tiles around, getting that board shuffle. Entanglement, passive damage, not that important. But Resolute Queen matching enemy tiles is going to generate AP. Friendly tiles is going to generate um, health for the team. So that's a team heal. So um, this team does cover the rainbow, all six colors. And um, you have multiple board shuffling and AP generation abilities uh, between these guys. Plus Quake is going to reduce that enemy uh, AoE damage. So we take some random team ups. And uh, Kaecilius, again, for those of you who missed yesterday's video, um, which I put up. Uh, his purple is a passive, creates a random uh, strike tile each turn. Forbidden power for 15 black AP deals base damage of 4203 plus 841 for each friendly strike tile on the board. So every turn he's creating these strike tiles and eventually it's only 126 but it adds up to a lot. Then you're getting this extra damage on top of it. Invincible, he cannot be stunned or sent airborne which is pretty normal for a boss fight. Um, and then uh, when a strike tile is matched, deals 3363 damage to Kaecilius. And then um, all uh, damage dealt by enemies to Kaecilius is nullified, except for those strike tiles, of course, being matched. So Kaecilius, the Unmerciful, a big enemy from the Doctor Strange series. And uh, let's get into it. All right, so of course we're looking to prevent him from getting black, also getting uh, black for Vulture's abilities. And I'm going to leave him this match for, which I see it there, but I'm not going to take it because um, it's going to help set up some other things here for us. All right, so there's our first blue match, gaining AP in green, so that's very useful. <clears throat> uh, let's take uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah I'm going to take that there okay and we get a chance to match that away And then we'll take black and green. Good little cascade action there. He's getting team up AP, which he does not have any team ups to use. Um, there is no arrow here to the right, so he's not got any team up abilities, uh, which is good. Um, so let's go ahead, since these guys are in kind of uh, hard to match places. Um, you know what, now we're gonna take that match four there because I want that green. We'll switch on the next turn. So here we'll use uh, Earthquake, shuffle the board up, hopefully get those into an easier to match position. And we did get a red out of it, so that's good, and a yellow. So I'm going to take this red and I'm going to let him match his own yellow away. Very nice. And should just be two more matches to take him out. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's destroy red. And the purpose of this is to get that purple strike tile there. And there are very few red tiles on the board, so that is guaranteed to get all those there. We'll take this out. And then we get the nice match five, so we have an extra turn. And I'm going to take this black here down at the bottom in the right hand or left hand corner there it is so actually a pretty useful strategy between gaining AP from Medusa I didn't even get to go airborne with Vulture I didn't have to um, and then uh, he never got any black in order to do his AoE damage so Quake's yellow didn't really play a big role but her green and blue were able to be useful and so it's important to not target those tiles to be destroyed like picking a purple tile when using that blue ability of hers, the resonance frequency, uh, because it doesn't 
deal damage when the tile is destroyed only when it's matched and that's important to know as well so <clears throat> picking uh, tiles around them that are going to set up those matches for you once those tiles are destroyed that's the key strategy so um, just something to keep in mind i hope you guys found this video insightful enjoyable if you did and you haven't already clicked that subscribe button uh, go ahead and lock that in right now and then you can hit, hit that notification bell for instant YouTube notifications when videos like this get posted. And um, tomorrow I'll be doing this again with hopefully another different team up and a different strategy to just showcase this. Um, obviously the uh, event is gonna be ending soon, um, but if you pay attention to these videos and you see them early enough, maybe you can use it on the next time that the, this event comes around. Or if you haven't done the fight and you're still trying to get that done and you're struggling with finding a good team up, <clears throat> these are some strategies. Oh, thanks, John L. You the best. Um, and uh, speaking of, don't forget to check out John L. Media and Artem, my alliance mates that also post YouTube content. And uh, Eddie, who is uh, KillPower559, he does Twitch streaming as well. Uh, daily as far as I know um, and they all put out some great content so check out all their channels and let's support other youtubers and uh, streamers for Marvel Puzzle Quest and uh, just bring the community together so lots of great information out there lots of great strategies and uh, if you have a team up that you've been using let me know down in the comment section below because you're not just letting me know you're letting everybody that watches this video know and they can go down to that comment section and see what everybody else is doing and using <clears throat> And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, obviously let me know in the comments as well. You can follow me on Twitter, at MrMPQ, and on uh, Twitch as well. The, my subscription link is down below. Um, I haven't done much of that yet, but I do intend to um, soon. And until next time, as always, this has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go hit those uh, nodes and uh, help my alliance score some more points, get those rewards. And uh, yeah, that's my plan for the night. So stay tuned tomorrow for another team up video and who knows what else. Thanks. Have a great night.